wonderful friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 1st, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Welcome to December, and thank you for tuning in. Always starting out here looking at our sun for today, the past 48 hours of events. Watch the bottom left-hand corner, plasma filament lifting from the surface and looping back into the sun, creating a massive tsunami on the surface. Looking at that last 48 hours incoming, left-hand side, this is where you'll see that large plasma filament swirling, looping back and forth, and then spiraling right back into the surface of the sun. Amazing images here, SDO. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. A couple strong C-class solar flares to report. Another closer look here at that plasma filament. As it loops. And slams back into the surface. Slaps back into the surface, creating a massive tsunami. Looking at multi-spectrum here, the last 48 hours of events, noting the plasma filaments across the northern hemisphere and as well active sunspot regions big coronal hole and that is set to change things over the next 36 to 48 hours increased solar winds as we're already seeing that from the most recent coronal mass ejection 171 angstroms here there are a total of 10 sunspots visible right now two of them turning away one on the left-hand side cresting in is a very big alpha spot here. Big blackened hole in the sun right now. That thing's probably about the size of Earth. Space weather conditions, we are still under R1 minor radio blackout impacts and as well level 3 G3 strong geomagnetic storm from those CMEs and as well solar flare. Solar winds right now are coming in at 523 kilometers per second. Having a look at our solar X-ray flux, strong C-class solar flares, long duration today, just recently. Proton flux slightly elevated. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a 7 earlier today, coming back down to a 6 and a 5 and back up into a 6 range. Space Weather Prediction Center has not changed their prediction spiral from the most recent space weather events. ISWA space prediction spiral, they have not projected the new CME, most likely that came from that plasma filament that we were observing in the bottom left of our sun. Having a look at our aurora forecast for our world, northern hemisphere versus the southern Big, strong geomagnetic storm overnight tonight. Having a look at Lasco 3, the last 48 hours of events after that halo CME. You can see that in the first few images. Also in the last few images there, CME taking off from the southern region of our sun. Right there. And that's from that most recent plasma film eruption. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as yet still peculiar earthquakes. 5.4 earthquake reported here in China. Tibetan Plateau, Eastern Tibetan Plateau as well. Lots of activity here. Myanmar, China border. Honshu, Japan, 4.7, 4.6, 4 4.5. Deep earthquake here. Banda Sea, 382 kilometer depth. Indonesia, 5.1. And then three deep earthquakes here. Fiji, 533 kilometer depth, 500. And as well, 400 and almost 20. Four, almost 420 there in the Fiji region. Alaska seeing increased seismicity. At two station, 4.5 as well. Petersville, Alaska, 100 kilometer depth, reporting a 5.0 magnitude. Then we get to the United States here. California, Ocotillo, California reporting a 4.8 magnitude earthquake. 
As well, just recently, Western Texas, 3.4. Having a look at USGS, they're reporting 249 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. But interesting developments there at Ocotilla, California, as well straight across the United States. Even Ohio, Madison, Ohio, reporting a 2.3 minor activity through central United States as well. And westward into New Mexico, White City. Go figure. And then this is Ocotillo. This is where they had that 4.8 earthquake. It looks like there's been about 19 aftershocks through the region. Right beside the only active volcano in the United States soil. Red Hill Volcano. Neeland. That's right, right here at the tip of the Salton Sea. Carrying on here, Puerto Rico activity resuming. Virgin Islands and as well, Tecapaca, Chile, 5.0 magnitude and a 4.3 there. Greece, center of the Mediterranean. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Lots of deep earthquakes the past 48 hours as reported yesterday in the video. Yet again today, a couple pretty deep earthquakes. All ranging from 420 to 606 kilometer depth. And then the peculiar earthquakes up into China and the Tibetan Plateau. Heads up, everybody. Big changes coming, I think. Now let's have a look at Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Notable Etna, Mount Etna, she's been spewing and firing lava all day long. Sangay in Ecuador, Luatolo in Indonesia, right here, Etna in Italy, Ebico in Russia, Awakened, Fuego, Guatemala, Sabancaya in Peru, Popopoketato in Mexico, continuous eruptions there, one of the most active volcanoes on the planet. Popo, and as well, Etna, most recently, pretty active. Having a look at satellite imagery around the world, still some extreme weather and flood conditions through South America, Africa, and as well, China. High pressure ridge building in across eastern Canada, cold high pressure ridge. So low pressure center tried to move through Ontario today and we got a little bit of mixed of everything. We got rain, we got some snow and ice pellets. Having a look here around the rest of the world. Intense clouds and systems developing for India and as well extreme heat being reported in Northern Territory of Australia. Landslides being reported through Spain and as well multiple landslides across Africa as reported yesterday. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected worldwide by disasters. Having a look at air quality index for the next three days, this is forecast models still showing a large SO2 plume, Central Pacific kind of locked in between systems and not being dissipated. You can see northeast of Australia, quite a bit of SO2 coming from Aoba, the volcanoes through New Caledonia, overlooking Africa, Europe, showing intense SO2 coming into Northern Africa as well, noting the SO2 coming from Etna, as I'm sure that will be different tomorrow in the update. Let's get to world weather, brought to you by windy.com. We're going to start out here overlooking Europe and Africa. Multiple low pressure systems affecting most of northern and eastern Europe. And then long range, it will start to penetrate the west coast of Europe, Spain, Ireland, United Kingdom. Long range forecast showing a very intense system with possibly up to 11 meter waves. Overlooking the rest of the world, 
possible tropical system here developing north of New Caledonia. And that will be heading southward towards Australian shorelines as well. Pretty strong system grinding up into India. And then watch here in the long range by the 6th into the 7th, there will be a cyclone heading southward towards northeastern shorelines of Australia. And then watch for a lot of extreme weather to break out as these systems converge over very hot, desolate Australia. And then overlooking North America, Colorado low, just grazing south of Ontario here today, as I said, smashed out by a high pressure ridge. Big systems here are going to be Alaska, BC, Washington, and then eventually Northern California. Long range forecast, big systems here developing, and as well winter storm conditions through the Pacific Northwest developing. Wanted to share here with you the wave models. Gray colors are upwards between 10 and 12 meters. Big systems, both oceans, Pacific and Atlantic. Forecasting some doozies coming into Western Europe. Especially through parts of Northern Spain. So heads up everybody, much love and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for your awesome support, comments and memberships. Stay aware, prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.